by now in this tutorial we are adding a new book we are getting the details of all the books now in this video we will learn how can we display the details of one single book let's learn how can we get the details of one single book from database so we are back to our bookstore web application and let's open the repository method inside the book repository we have a new method for get book and this is the method that we are using to get the book by using a single id okay so right now you can see that we are using data source now we need to replace this one and how can we replace it so let's simply write first where book is equals to we can use context now we need to use the entity class there are a couple of ways to get the data from this books entity class first one is suppose you need to get the data based on the primary key so simply you can use this find method and inside this find method you simply need to pass the id in our case because we are getting the book details based on the id so we can simply use this find async method now suppose you want to filter this book based on some other parameter as well so in that scenario you can use this where method so let's use this where method so let's copy this context.books and replace this data source let's remove this written as well for a while now we have written the condition and since we are using asynchronous programming so we have to use first or default async so these are the two ways to get the data of a single book i hope in future we will use this method but right now we do not need this one in future if we need to apply some condition based on some logic and definitely we will have that logic in upcoming videos then we will work on this method for now let's remove this one now let's work on this find async method so we can simply use await and since this is async programming so we have to use async keyword over here let's change the return type of this book model as well okay before returning this data we need to convert this data type right now it is books we need to convert it to the book model and let's do that first let's verify if we have the data into our object if book is not equals to null now inside this if condition first let's create a new object of this book model so new book model and inside this book model we can simply set all the properties we can copy these details from here let's paste them over here okay and let's simply return this book details So we are done with the changes over here in this method. Let's go back to the controller class and let's convert this method as well. Because we are using an async method, so we have to use await keyword, async keyword over here as well. Let's convert this return type as well. Perfect. So now we are done with all the changes. Let's run this application by pressing control F5. Let's click on the all books. And let's click on the view details button this time you can see that we are getting the actual data from database the name is azure devops book here is the author this is the description the category and language we do not have into the database that is why we are getting it blank we have page numbers so we have the page numbers over here in upcoming videos we will update the details of this book and we will get all the data from database let's click on the add new book again and let's add a new book suppose this time i'm adding a new book of javascript let's enter the name of the author enter the total pages click on the add book okay so this time if you'll click on this link then you can see that we are getting the actual details of the book from database so it means at this point adding of the book is working fine getting all the books is also working fine and getting the details of the book is also working fine although we have very less fields in this operation but these basic operations are working fine now we will try to work on some complex data and we will try to add few more fields into our book details i hope you are enjoying the learning with this tutorial make sure to hit the like button of this video tell me your feedback into the comment section share this video subscribe to the channel and kindly join this web channel thank you for watching have a great day